Hi everyone, it's Red with uh, RedDragonLeo.com and we are staring at the monthly chart on a Thursday and uh, as you can see here the monthly chart is uh, slightly going slightly up to sideways um, as you can see here as we talked about this yesterday the monthly is not really putting any downward pressure on the market right now it's kind of just neutral you might say it's still going down but um, you know it could uh, again kind of go up here put in maybe a little higher histogram tile before it rolls over so it could be a few of these little slightly higher before they roll over hard to say but um, I think it's going to go you know later in the year when it happens when it finally finally does roll over because there there's no sign of it moving back up here rolling back up here so we're still going down but this is to be expected so kind of like down and then maybe a couple sideways month and months and then um, and then a big down move so that could put us into like september or october before we really have another big leg down if it continues the way it's going the way it's looking right now and as you can see on the monthly basis it is again about neutral it's at 50 on the rsi if it was um below 33 the bears would be in control if it was above um you know above 66 the uh, bulls would be in control and you can see here adx lines are just crisscrossing so there's not really any direction there too much on the monthly so them so we're just going to call it neutral it's not applying any upward pressure or downward pressure at this point it's just kind of in a pause mode moving on to the weekly the weekly is definitely providing upward pressure uh, as you can see, we are going up the last two weeks on the RSIs. It is gaining strength and now almost at the 50. It's actually 49.20. So, you know, it has uh, been moving up, providing some upward um, momentum to support the dailies and 60-minute and 15-minute minute and minute charts. And uh, it is not fully turned back up yet. It is here on the full stochastics. It is hooked back up, but... Uh, and it appears to be hooking maybe possibly here soon on the Mike D's, but the histogram towers, uh, they are clearly putting in smaller, uh, lower uh, towers or lower trough lows on, on those bars, meaning there's less, less uh, selling pressure. Same thing on these here. Um, and uh, so you can, you know, clearly see that. Um, however, you know, obviously the selling pressure is on these bars here. The volume is a lot more selling than there is buying. But it doesn't matter. We've already seen how this entire market went up on light volume. It rose on light volume, sold on heavy volume. So we're used to that by now. So um, that's uh, our good old fantastic government for you. Clear manipulation. Just tell the big boys not to sell and let them buy with um, use our taxpayer money to buy the market up and they've already bought their positions so I suspect all the big boys the crooks the JP Morgan's Goldman sucks and uh, all the other thugs out there the bankers they bought down here and they're using our money to uh, to buy the market up they've already got their positions they're going long and they're telling them and they're telling everybody on the on the news media to be bearish and blah 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 the world's coming to an end blah 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 you know they're telling everybody that so that uh, they can take your money I'm telling you this market's gonna go up for a little while the weekly is clearly showing that uh, is clearly showing we're rising here and getting ready to hook back up uh, I think it's gonna go up here and possibly hit this 50 foot rolls back over which means we could go up here and maybe maybe go into the positive territory just a little bit and roll back down and maybe take us into September or October. I, I mean, I hate to say that because I'm a bear. You know, I, I hate to see this kind of crap. You know, we all know that the reality is uh, that all the numbers are manipulated and all the the jobs number, jobs data, it's all bullshit. I mean, it's all, you know, it's all lies. We all know that. But, um, you know, it is what it is. The charts tell me we're going up. Um, there's nothing we can do about it. So besides, uh, you know, be bullish. Now, I wouldn't be bullish at this point, of course. You know, short term, uh, but you know, you should probably wait for a pull bank. Maybe if this goes in an ABC move up on the weeklies, if it goes, you know, this is an A and then maybe a B and then maybe a C, 
and uh, who knows how far that'll go. Maybe it'll go up there and hit our 1260 to 1280 print that matches up with the Dow's Diamond 118.16, which is about 11,800 on the Dow. So maybe we do that. I don't know. I'm not saying that we are, but, you know, it's possible. I don't think that that'll be the case, but uh, we we'll just have to see. I mean, uh, you know, it depends on how many of these bars go up. I mean, before it starts to roll back down. Um, so basically, the weekly right now is supporting uh, the dailies and 60 minutes and 15 minute charts, providing them strength. That's why any sell off that we have on a daily basis is not sticking. And um, as you can see right here, we went down today and put in a bottoming tail. And you really don't call it a bottoming tail, but the hammer, I guess you call that pattern. Bottoming tail is when it's at the bottom of a move, but it's still bullish, meaning that the selling would not, was not sticking. Um, so you can call this whole move up and sideways consolidation. Uh, that tells you you're probably going to go up some more because that's a bull flag after, especially after a few more days of this kind of stuff. We'll probably see this a little bit tomorrow. I'm expecting it to be down to maybe about the 1090 area to close on tomorrow. It's just, you know, guessing, but uh, that's what I'm expecting. You can see there's no turning of this daily chart yet. So even though we went down, there's no turning of it. These, these are all, all the lines are, are crossing back over each other. Um, we now have um, the, we're above the 50 in the bull territory. We're not above 66 yet. We're actually at 56.33. And um, if it gets to 66, that's major bull territory. I mean, that's, you know, that's two to one buying versus selling. That's what that is. Um, 66 people buying, 33 selling. You know, so that, you just, you got to look at that. I mean, that's just what the relative strength index is about. Um, here, you're not showing any. Uh, you know, positive or negative, you're crisscrossing around. So, you know, that tells you that if the weeklies were, um, if the weeklies were pointing down right now and putting downward pressure, what you would probably see on the daily would be this to hook back up, the ADX line to hook back up. And with it, you would see the negative DI line run up and the market sell off. But the fact that the weekly is running up right now and supporting the market, pushing it up, when this does curl back up, probably next week, uh, and hooks back up, I expect it to take the, um, this uh, positive um, DI line with it. Uh, you know, so how far we go up? Well, I think we're going to go up and hit that fake print of tomorrow of uh, 110, uh, 57 on the spy I think we're going to gap up and uh, get outside of this falling channel that's right here if we drew this line here on the 60 minute chart we drew this line on out here you can see at the end we did kind of go up above it but I think in the morning it's I think it's going to gap up out of it and then fall back down and back test it and close out here around uh, 1090 or something that's what I'm guessing you can see that uh, this sell-off that we had um, took the 60 down into negative territory and then it curled back up and uh, the market did not really sell off with it I mean for such a huge move up here on these a move up from 1010 to 1090 an 80 point move up and it went down 10 points so yeah, that, that clearly tells you that there's just no selling pressure right now so don't think that this is just going to fall off a cliff that's just it's the charts are not saying that charts are saying that it's got upward upward uh, support right now pushing it up and you can see this is hooking back up moving here this this is perfect for a gap up in the morning you gap up and crap basically you know you gap up to get outside of this channel this falling channel and um, you know once you get outside the channel you can fall back down and back test it close at 1090 something just guessing you know um, and then uh, you know that gets you primed up for next week for Monday or Tuesday so you can make another move up and um, you know, you look at the 15-minute chart, and uh, same thing. It's uh, pretty much it's it's went down, and it is moving back up now. So 15 also supports a move up in the morning uh, as well. So you know, I think this might be all we're going to get for this B way down, and maybe an A, a B, and then maybe a C. It might be a short one, but like I said, I'm not an Elliott Way person. I really don't know that 
Elliott waved too well. So maybe this was an A, and that was a B, or maybe this was a one, two, three, four, five. See, you know, I'm guessing at those, but I'm just going by the technicals here, and the technicals tell me that we are likely to gap up, hit that in crap. Then maybe next week go up and hit the uh, print of uh, 112.41 on the SPY at least. And if we stop there, then possibly we could roll over and put one down weekend. But uh, I don't, you know, I don't know. That's, that's for another video. We have to look at it then and see what happens. But, but right now this is it's bullish. It does, you know, it's not, you know what you're, it's not what you're thinking. It's not like this where you're getting ready to tank and roll over here. You got to look back at the charts here on this and look at the, the weekly on this particular point, and you can see we were um, we were headed down right here in those weeks. So that was different. Here we're headed up. So anyway, that's it. Thanks a lot, guys.